Hi, welcome to the lecture number 28 of uh, Ultimate Python course. So in this course, what I will be discussing is, okay, before I start, don't write the notes, slides are given in the description and uh, please watch my videos at 2x speed. I will be very slow while explaining, okay. So what is glo global and non-local keywords is the topic. So sometimes I'll show you the example what we relate to global local global keyword if you use global keyword you can change the value of a global variable inside a function i will show you shortly what it means and also you can make a variable a global variable even from a block even from a function i will show you with examples for example here x equal to 20 is a global variable Inside a function, you are accessing it and printing it. It doesn't create any problem. But if you try to change the value of x, x is a global variable. And if you are trying to change the value of x, it is not allowed. So here you have to use the keyword global, right? So like this, you are going to get an error called unbound local error. Okay, so you have to use the global keyword. I will show you with example. See this. Now, if you have global keyword added to x, it means that you are referring to the global variable. Then if you try to modify it, the global variable, it is allowed. Without making it a global variable, you cannot modify it. Okay. So 20 is a global variable. We are making it as global and we are changing it. Now, if you print the value of the global variable, it will show 25. And even if you come out of the function, it will still show 25. The, the global variable is updated, okay? So any update that you do to a global variable by using global keyword will be reflected in the global. Outside the function, the global variable x shows updated values, okay? So now if you see this example, you are modifying the global variable, making it 25. Now these changes are persistent. Even if you come out of the function and you will try to print the value of x, it will still be 25, okay? Now, when you have, a, when you have two variables with the same name, one is local and other is global always local variable will be taken given higher priority so in this case x equal to x plus one happens on the local variable which means x will become 15 if you try to print the value of x it will print 15 and here the local variable this local variable does not exist it is referring to the global variable 20 that is why you are going to see 15 and 20 okay so what is the use case of global if you want to modify a global variable or if you want to make a global variable as global you can use it i think we didn't have an example where i have made to i have made a local variable global but you can use that which means inside a block it can be a function you can use global x you can use global x now even if this x is not defined anywhere around anywhere outside even if x is not global it will become a global variable which means you can create a global variable from a function without actually having it outside the function okay from within the function also you can create global variables non-local <laughs> now non-local keyword is used in case of nested functions whenever you have to use the enclosing function scope it allows you to modify a variable that is not a local variable or a global variable, but rather intermediate, which means enclosing scope. I will show you with example, what is the meaning of non-local. Now let us say there are two functions here. There are two functions here. So out is a function. Inside it, there is in function. Okay. Now, I told you the rule, right? If a, if a variable is present in the local scope, it will take that variable. If the variable is not present in the local scope, it will search in the enclosing scope, which means here. 
therefore when i say print x thousand will be printed thousand will be printed right now when you come out of this function and you print x the global value 500 is taken that is why you got 500 right i told you the rules right local and closing global and then built in i told you that right so i told you the rule local and closing global built in so if a variable is not in present in local it will try to go to n closing now the problem is i don't want to access the variable i want to modify the variable now the problem is i don't want to access the variable i want to modify the variable for example here i don't want to print x i want to change the value of x then non local keyword is going to play key role okay so in this function if you see in this function if you see this is the outer function and this is the inner function now inner function is trying to change the value of x which x there is a global x there is an closing x and there is no local x which x so if you want to specifically mention that i want to change the value of enclosing the closest enclosing x then you can use the non local keyword this is going to give you error okay you got an error right so local variable x referred before assignment is the error it is thinking that it is a local variable which is not declared okay but according to us we want to modify this x okay so what we will do is we will write non local whenever we write non local which x will be referred the enclosing the closest enclosing x will be referred now when you are trying to increment its value by 100 this 1000 value will be incremented by 100 and you are going to see 1100 here and here outside the so inside the outer out function 1000 will be referred which means same value will be printed now here outside so this value, global value will be referred this global value will be referred right that is why you are getting the output as 1100 why did we get the output as 1100 because you have changed this value by 100 and you have printed 1100 now here you are printing the value of outside function out function that is why it is printing again 1100 because the value of the out function x is is permanently changed and finally if you try to print out outside everything in x it will refer to the global x because this is local to this scope this x is for this x this is the local local variable that is why 500 okay 1100 1100 500 now instead of non local if you give the global what happens instead of non local if you give the global what happens so this is the out function this is the in function now inside the function inside the function we are accessing x now what x are we accessing now when you say x is global it means that you are referring to this x 500 now that 500 is incremented by 100 and that 600 is printed so here you are going to get 600 as the output now in the out function if i refer x it is the local variable which is 1000 therefore 1000 will be printed now now if you come out of everything and if you try to print x then the global value 500 will be printed actually this is 500 is local to this statement because both of them are in the same scope even though we are calling it as global both are in the same scope it is local okay so you are going to see 600 1000 and 600 okay because why are we, why are we seeing 600 because it has been modified here now whenever whenever you use a global keyword and modify the value of the global variable from inside a function that change will stay forever okay 
Now we can have multiple functions inside a function that modify the same variable using non-local. Now see this example. Now see this example. <coughs> now out function is till here. And this in function 1 is till here. And the in function 2 is till here. Okay. Okay. You are calling the out function. Out function will internally call function 2 and function 1. Function 2 and function 1. Right. Right. So now in this function in function 1 in this in function 1 non-local x is used what does that mean it means that it refers to the closest and closing variable right so closest and closing is here closest and closing is here now you are incrementing its value by 1200 so to 10000 1200 will be added and it will be printed Right, what will be printed? 10,000 plus 1200 will be printed. Now, again in function 2, you are writing non local x. Again, it will go to the closest and closing x, which means the same one. Same one. To this 100 is added, which means the value of this x is now equal to 10,000 plus 1200 plus 100. 10,000 plus 1200 plus 100. Now we are printing the value of x. So this value will be printed, right? This value will be printed. Now you have print x also. So print x, the local x is there for this out function. <coughs> for this out function, this x is local. Therefore, it refers to this x whose value has been modified two times, right? That is why you are getting 10,100 first. 10,100 first because 10,000 I am adding here oh, first uh, function 2 is called when function 2 is called first first it will print 1100 so which means 100 is added next function 1 is called then 1200 is added that is why 11,300 now finally the final value of x is printed which is 1100 11,300 Now let's see this example. There is out function, there is a middle function, there is in function. These are nested functions, okay? So out function starts here and go all the way till here. And uh, middle function starts here. Middle function starts here and goes all the way here. And inside the middle function, there is one more function. These are nested functions, okay? So, in function starts here and it will go all the way here, okay? Okay? Hmm. Now, out function is called first. Now, while executing the out function, it is going to call the middle function. And when middle function is called, in function is called, right? So now we are putting non-local x. Okay, see this. Non-local x. It means that we are referring to the closest and closing x. The closest and closing x is here. We are referring to 5000. We are referring to 5000. Right. Now to that 5100 will be added and that will be printed, which means 5100 will be printed. 5100 will be printed. Right, right. Now, when I print x here, it is referring to the local. So, which means again 5100 will be printed because its value is changed, right? So, that is a 5100. Now, when you are referring to x, the local variable to this function is 1000. That is why 1000 will be printed. So, 5100, 5100 and 
1000 will be printed so so if you see this non local keyword is used in case of nested functions in order to refer to a variable which exists in the closest and closing scope closest and closing scope okay it need not be a global variable i have shown you with examples okay so what is the difference between all of them so global keyword will give global scope and non local keyword will give n closing scope now if you want to modify variables which are global you are going to use global variable or if you want to create global variables then also you can use global i have not written it here if you want to modify a global variable you can use global or if you want to create a global variable from within a function you can use global right <coughs> now now what about non local if you want to access variables which are in the nearest and closing scope see what i mean to say is there can be a function here there can be a function here there can be a function here now if i write x is here and also x is here now if i write non local x then what does this mean this means that you have to go to the closest and closing not this one closest and closing variable okay so in order to modify global variables we are going to use global keywords and in order to modify intermediate nested functions which means enclosing variables enclosed scope you are going to use non local guys if it is possible like the video if it is possible share the video if you like something do comment and subscribe I, we are working very hard to give you this course for free we just expect likes and shares that's it thank you if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuraula.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which i teach generally i will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much